YouTubers. Welcome to the Shawnee Rose channel, your everything NP. I am here to share with you information about nursing and lifestyle in general and also health and wellness and I am bringing to you a different perspective than you see out there on YouTube no offense to all the other youtubers I think you're great great source of information but I want to bring something a little bit different now I've been in healthcare for over 20 years yes, yes I know. but I can bring all of that experience to you. Not only was I a staff nurse, or have I been a staff nurse for all this time, I've also been uh, a nurse educator in the university setting, as well as community college setting, so I can bring all that background information to you and share with you my wisdom. So I am now an advanced practice uh, family nurse practitioner. All right, well, let's get into today's video. We're gonna be talking about how to be a nurse in general today. Now, as I said, I have been a nurse for over 20 years, and in order to understand a little bit about my background and my experience and how I can help you guys, I just wanna talk a little bit about why I got into nursing. So, at the tender age of 18, uh, I became pregnant. And during that pregnancy, I actually was very ill. I was on bed rest for the last three months of my pregnancy uh, with something called preeclampsia. Now that means that your blood pressure is so high that you run the risk of stroke, uh, possibly death, as well as the unborn child, uh, there can be a lot of harm to that child as well. So I was afflicted with that during the last uh, trimester of my pregnancy and I was hospitalized towards the end for about a week. And during that time, I got to see a lot about how uh, the nurses interact with their patients and what they do on a daily basis and really how their care affected my life and my child's life. Um, and that really inspired me. So although I was actually in college at the time, I was an English pre-law uh, major, I decided to switch my career. So I decided that for me at that time, being a new mom and being so young, I needed to start my nursing career pretty quickly. So I actually went into an associate degree program. And back then, that was actually uh, the trend. Uh, however, that's not the case uh, for the most part today. Today, you really need to have a bachelor's degree and even in many cases, a master's degree. So I kept going and I, I kept pushing forward. I started out with the associate's degree program and I was able to transfer a lot of my credits from my four-year college that I had already acquired in my first year of, of academic uh, uh, training. So now we're gonna talk about your future as a nurse. Your future is gonna be very, very bright as a nurse. You're gonna have so many opportunities. And the thing that I love about nursing is you could have 10 different careers throughout your span of your nursing career, literally, because there's so many different avenues that you can get into that actually change it for you. US uh, News and Money Magazine report that nursing is actually the top 18th field to do uh, today in, in 2018. And that's registered nursing, okay? And then also, uh, as an advanced practice registered nurse, you would bump up to number four on that list as top uh, coveted and, and income earning potential jobs. Uh, nursing is a very flexible career. Um, if you're a family person, if you have a family, or if you wanna have a family, it's gonna allow you the flexibility to live your life and also to have a career as well. You can work anywhere in the world. Um, I myself have uh, traveled, I've done travel nursing. Um, you've heard um, of uh, nurse burnout. Well, that's one way that I think is a good way to kind of alleviate nurse burnout. Um, so some of the uh, careers or areas of nursing that you can do, just to mention a few, are emergency room nursing, ICU, that's intensive care unit, and within the ICU setting, there's so many different types, um, and we'll get into that uh, at a future post um, about the different types of um, ICU nursing that you can do. I did medical ICU, um, so that was basically your med surge patient medical without the surgical part um, who have illnesses and need to be treated on a critical care 
type setting. Um, and one of the benefits of critical care is you are getting the advanced training. So you are doing the ACLS, Advanced Cardiac Life Support Training, and you can really uh, feel like you're being of value to somebody uh, who's, who's in a uh, very vulnerable uh, health state. Um, also, there's PACU nursing, that's post-anesthesia care unit nursing. I've done that as well. Uh, you can do it in the hospital setting, but you can also do it in a community setting. And for those of you who aren't into that uh, rush, 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 excitement, uh, uh, life and death type situations all the time, outpatient setting may be more for you. Also, there is um, obstetrics or OBG type nursing where you're working in a maternity unit, uh, mother baby or postpartum and delivery. You know, maybe you just want that one-on-one -on -one patient care and you want to help somebody bring the most valuable thing uh, in this world to them and that's their, their child. There's office nursing, there's um, leadership. Uh, leadership is a great area of nursing that you can get into. Uh, you first need to get some clinical experience, but then you can move right ahead and usually you do need to have an advanced degree um, to do that, but in many, many settings you may not. Oh, and of course, how could I forget? I am a nurse practitioner, so there's the advanced uh, practitioner level. Um, there's also the uh, nurse anesthetist level. There's so many different um, things that you can do. You can do geriatrics, you can do pediatrics. Now, you guys are coming into it at a wonderful time. It's, it's just, there's so many opportunities, even academically, for you to uh, go to nursing. So, we'll talk about the different ways. Uh, first way being the associate's degree or the associate uh, applied science in nursing. Now that's obviously a two-year degree, and you usually will obtain that at a community college. Uh, diploma schools are pretty much obsolete at this point. Um, so you would go to a community college, uh, do your prerequisites, do your clinicals, and you can actually sit for your NCLEX boards and become a registered nurse in uh, two years in the Associate uh, in Applied Science programs. Now, I will tell you that that is really not the best way to do it anymore. If you do that, you are severely, severely limiting your potential in terms of uh, employability and, and finding work because many hospitals do not hire you today if you don't have at least minimal a bachelor's of science in nursing. So if you do want to go the associate degree route and you, you need to do that just to get started and to get into it, that's fine. However, keep in mind that you're going to be going on further pretty soon. Okay, uh, mainly these days, the places that you can work with the Associate in Applied Science and Nursing are clinics, um, nursing homes, and, um, and those are probably gonna be uh, areas that you're gonna also make less income. So keep that in mind. The uh, traditional college bachelor's program, the BSN program route. So uh, many colleges and universities across the country offer this program. Now, you will need to go and actually attend classes 90% uh, of the time if you do not have a bachelor's degree already prior to getting into nursing. In addition, you are going to have to take um, your didactic courses prior to actually being accepted into the nursing program. So it tends to be a little bit more than four years if you do it that route. Next there are the accelerated programs. So these programs are set up specifically for people who already have a bachelor's degree, and it could be a degree in uh, psychology or anything in general. Uh, but you will need to have that four-year degree and complete all of the prerequisites prior to being able to start. I'll give you an example. I taught at Pace University in New York uh, for several years. I also attended Pace University's uh, Master's of Science in Nursing Education program. I graduated there initially with that degree. And then I went back and I got my post-master's certification as a family nurse practitioner. Um, so I know a lot about their program and I, I am, I, it's very near and dear to my heart. They offer three routes of entry. 
So they have the RN4, and that is your four-year degree, uh, traditional program. But with their program, the thing that I really do like about it is they throw you right into nursing first year. And that's rare. So most of the programs, as I said, are going to make you get all of the didactic or the core courses out of the way first. All of your, your biologies, your chemistries, your anatomy and physiology. You're going to need all those courses uh, completed first, prior to starting your nursing course. Not at pace if you do the RN4 program. And they're not alone. There are other you know, universities in, in this country that are doing that, but I happen to know about their program specifically. Okay, next is their accelerated uh, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing program. Now, I taught in this program uh, most frequently, and it's a wonderful program, and again, there are many schools that are doing it, but basically, you need to have that four-year degree prior to getting into it. Usually, it's a science-related degree because it's going to make your life a lot easier in completing those core uh, requirements, but this program is a one-year program, and you will need to do all the cores first, but you won't be able to work because it's really tough. I mean, you are going to school 12 months out of that year and you're doing clinicals consistent as well as doing simulation labs and um, study labs. So there's, there's a lot involved in that. So you want to just make sure that you are fully committed and, and able to do that because you can't work. You won't be able to have any income when you do a program like that. Uh, but it's well worth it because you get it done. You're done in a year and bada bing, you're ready to the uh, nursing BS to RN. So remember I was talking about the Associate Applied Science in Nursing? Well, this would be a program that people who are um, coming from that background would want to do. So basically, at Pace University, this program is completely online, which is unheard of. Um, they're really a trendsetter in this, this um, type of program. And um, if you go in with that associate degree, you can take your bachelor's courses online. However, of course you need to do your, your clinical. There will be some clinical component, but you are expected to be a registered nurse uh, as you do this program. So it's a little bit less requirement. Well, actually a lot less requirement for you uh, clinically. So the ugly, you will in undoubtedly encounter the ugly. And what I mean by the ugly is horizontal or lateral violence. Now, um, I'm gonna detail that in another video for you because it is another video in and of itself. But what I want you to understand about what horizontal violence is, it is a term that was actually coined from nursing. Nurses tend to eat their young. I'm sure you've probably heard this, but believe me, you will experience it. So I wanna prepare you nursing students and uh, new nurses for it. And keep in mind that you have to be strong, you have to persevere through it, but it's something that nurses tend to do to each other to kind of initiate you to the group of uh, being a nurse. And I think it's really sad and, and um, unfortunate that we do that to each other. I've never personally done that, and um, I hope that you don't experience it. But in case you do, um, I'm just gonna read out a definition for you. Um, and it means that um, it's you're gonna be experiencing hostility, aggression, and harmful behavior uh, by a nurse or group of nurses uh, by their attitudes, their actions, their words or behaviors, and it tends to occur a lot to new nurses. So now you've heard a bit about how to be a nurse, some of the different benefits of being a nurse, um, the opportunities in nursing, and also some of the struggles that you will undoubtedly encounter as a nurse or nursing student. But I wanna say this, that if you keep pushing through and you work hard and you persevere, you will undoubtedly feel that it was probably one of the best decisions that you made in your life. I wish you all luck in your endeavors and your challenge to uh, pursue nursing. And just keep in mind that you can do it. So this has been Shawnee Rose, your everything NP. I want you to remember to work hard and pursue your dreams, but most importantly, take time out to smell the roses. Don't forget to thumbs up my video and also to subscribe down below so that you can get all of my new and informational uploads.